Hello Python programmers. So this is the video 8 of our machine learning with Python video series and in this video I am going to show you that how you can split your database into two sections that is test and train. Now the first question that you must be wondering is why do we need to do this? So let's understand this it this way. Machine learning is a process by which a system takes decision on its own. Now this is the most simplest explanation I can think of of machine learning. But for a machine to have such a power, it must have some understanding. After all, they all are dumb machines. So what we do is we provide a machine with two sets of data. Now here we are not talking about the test and train. I'll discuss them in just a second. We are talking about dependent and independent variable. I want to discuss this here because this topic will be taken in this video only. So, so let's understand this with an example. Let's say that a company has decided to fire some of their existing employees and they want to do this using a machine learning model which will be trained from the previously existing employed which were fired or not in the similar conditions. So in that database, we will be having multiple columns like their age, their salary, their working hours, their contribution to the company and many things. But we will broadly classify them into two categories. First is dependent variable and second is independent variable. Dependent variable will have only one column which is our result column in this case the fired or not and the independent variable will be all those column which will affect this dependent variable column. Let's say that the firing of a employee is dependent on the salary of the employee, the age of the employee and the contribution of that employee to the company. So these three columns will be considered as the independent variable because they are affecting the dependent variable. And I want to make this point very clear because to understand machine learning you should understand that what is the difference and what is the concept of dependent and independent variable okay so I guess you understand that what they are and and if you have any confusion I would be happy to answer you in the comment section so okay so let's talk about the topic of this video which is test and train data now we are provided with only one database and with that only we have to create a model so what we do is we split our database into two sections that is test and train the ratio of the test and train is usually 70 to 30 80 to 20 90s to 10 and this is the most common used uh, ratios so the first test so the first set of data is trained data now with the trained data we do what the name suggest we train our machine learning model as i have already explained you in the dependent and independent variable the machine learning algorithm will find a relationship between the independent and dependent variables so that it can predict or make decisions and the test data is then used to test that whether a machine learning model is working perfectly or not what if they are showing underfitting or overfitting if such condition exists we will again train our data using some different values and then this process will go on until we will get a good accuracy of a machine learning algorithm okay so now enough for the explanation let's straight get to a notebook and just start writing some code okay
okay so now we are into our notebook and I will quickly import our libraries and load our database okay okay so now we are done with the loading of our database for all those who are new to this channel and haven't watched our previous video on numpy pandas and all the other topics related to machine learning i highly recommend you to go through them so that you can understand each commands more clearly so now here you can see that we are not having any dependent variable column like we are not having any column which shows any decision so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a new column called by and then we will add zero if uh, the user doesn't buy and one if the user buy and the factors influencing will be the displacement the horsepower and the weight okay okay so now we are we have added the by column here okay so let's create two variable independent and dependent which will have the values of the independent and dependent columns okay so there you can see so we have chosen these uh, mpg cylinder displacement horsepower weight and acceleration column uh, okay so we don't want the model column also here okay so we have excluded the model column also so we have included this one two three four five and six columns as our independent variable because this will affect our dependent variable values that is whether the user buys the car or not so let's create our dependent variable okay so there you can see we have extracted the by column also as our dependent variable okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the sk learns train test split library here to automatically split our database into test and train we will separately split the independent and dependent variable into x x test x train and y test y train okay so first of all let's import our required libraries which is the train test plate okay so now let me write the command first which will split our database then after that i will explain you what the parameters are okay so now now let me explain you this command here so first of all we have called the te train test split class and the 
parameters here is first the independent variable having all the independent columns then the dependent variable having all the dependent columns then the test size which will be the size of our test data which is 0 0.2 which is the which is 20 percent you can select 20 percent 30 percent 10 percent any values here then the last parameter is random state which will define the random selection of the data from the database okay so there you can see the x train is having this value the x test is having this value now your results may vary from mine because we have selected random state as five if you want to uh, have the same random state select random state as zero and then you will get the same result as mine okay so this was it for this video this was the aim of this video to split our test and train data now they there wasn't much to code but still there was a lot to understand in this video because if you understand how the data are and what they represent then you can create a perfectly working machine learning model okay so this is it for this video in the next video we'll talk about the scaling of the features so that is also a very important video for data pre-processing and that is also the final video of data pre-processing after that we'll come to the juicy part of the machine learning that is the model and the algorithm part okay so meet you there bye bye